modern security arch architecture and namespace, why do legacy solutions not work? There's a couple of re main reasons. One of the big ones is your actual security. Uh, a lot of legacy solutions, they're just not even supported anymore, or the support that they do get, they're not getting you know updates on a regular basis. So just they're flat out vulnerable to network attacks. But even beyond that, they don't support a zero trust security model necessary for your modern security art posture. Also, with your increasing regulatory requirements on a regular basis, those legacy solutions don't really support the continuous monitoring and reporting requirements that that are being driven by your those rec increased requirements. Those legacy solutions also, both from a cost perspective and an operational and complexity perspective, are not built for the modern cloud architecture and uh, space. They don't scale. They don't really support a lot of the you know your cloud apps in the uh, the modern space. They struggle to keep up from both the performance and scalability structure. And with the trend moving toward the cloud and eliminating those you know on-prem costs, those legacy solutions you know keep kind of having those technical debt. And also with the time to market for those legacy solutions, you just don't really have the ability to kind of be agile with those legacy solutions. Your average modern identity solution is going to be more agile because those legacy solutions just are way more burdensome, way more costly. So uh, on the next slide, please. So let's say you've decided to migrate from a legacy solution to a modern solution. A couple of uh, best practices and common challenges to think of in the don'ts, you know, there's a couple of ideas like don't migrate broken processes and avoid bing bang application migrations. So when you're doing these migrations, you want to basically avoid migrating everything all at once. If you do so, one point of failure is going to mess up and ruin the entire migration. You want to do these migrations as a piecemeal so that you can get these easy wins, but also so that you can prepare from a operational change management approach to make sure that your you know end users both from an IT perspective as well as your end business users are prepared for this migration also when it comes to the application migration you can migrate these apps you want to migrate these apps in a prioritized wave or phase migration using an agile methodology so that the account and entitlement intake can be validated incrementally and Agile has actually developed a prioritized framework to help with this. In terms of the do's that you want to do, quote unquote, uh, you want to prepare for a temporary coexistence. This kind of goes along with the avoid the big bang approach, but if you're migrating everything all at once, uh, or if you're migrating everything in a piecemeal approach, there's going to be a period of time where you're having both the legacy solution and the modern solution on at the same time, and you want to be prepared for this and know what parts of the legacy solution and what parts of the modern solution are going to be on at the same time so that you can be prepared for this, both from a change management approach as well as making sure that you know which, you know, parts are going to be on. And a best practice here is to migrate the back office automation processes first and then the complex and user functionality last so that you can have a stable new, you know, modern solution available before introducing those major changes that are going to impact the end users. Building Greenfield goes along with don't migrate those broken processes. You want to make sure that you're migrating and building this pr these processes that are going to be good for the modern, you know, the modern name sp or space that your business needs, not migrating, you know, processes that may or may not work for the modern space just because they existed previously. And that might mean making some changes that you have depending upon what your business needs going forward. Uh, and finally, communication and outreach is key. This is especially important when it comes to end users, to knowledge transfer to your IT, and making sure that you have that sustained focus and commitment with your key technical and business stakeholders in order to make sure that you it reduce your organizational risk, you boost your productivity, and you improve your end user experience so that you have a successful migration going forward.